A way that I really like to learn is by watching YouTube videos, especially if it's a technical topic. However, I personally use that method for learning snippets of things or small areas of things that are consumable in a small amount of minutes because I have a very limited attention span. However, when it comes to learning about complete themes or entire topics, I turn to books as I find that they are entirely all-encompassing and they don't just sort of um, offhandedly mention another topic and say, I'll cover that in a future video. They address it either there and then or in future pages. So I thought whilst we're all sat at home, not particularly doing much and with a lot of free time, I thought I'd recommend to you five of my most favorite books that have made an incredible massive difference in my day-to-day -day world as a developer. Side note, one of the books that I'm gonna mention has absolutely nothing to do with development and it's more about soft skills. So, welcome to Ben's Book Club. Hmm. Ben's Book Barrage? Ben's Book Battery. Ben's Book... Hi folks, my name is Ben and welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new here, I am a developer and this channel talks about all sorts of stuff, tech, tutorials and twaddle. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and of course, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy this video. Right, ahead of us are five books, two of which are quite specific to very particular topics in the tech world. Two others I think are useful for every developer to know. They cover topics that often developers come across in their day-to-day -day development. Finally, the last book has absolutely nothing to do with development, but I think personally is incredibly useful for everyone. I'll put some form of icon in the bottom of the screen here to let you know which of the three categories the book that I'm talking about falls into. And they are in no particular ranking order at all. I love each of these books individually. The first one falls into that generic developer category and is called the Linux Command Line by William Schotts. It's published by this um, No Scratch Press, which makes some fantastic tech tutorial books. The Linux Command Line book holds a very special place in my heart personally. Back when I was first learning about the terminal and the bash shell and all of that good stuff, um, I was taking different bits from the internet and YouTube videos and sort of stitching them together. And I finally decided I needed a book, um, something that was all encompassing to sort of clean everything up, put everything in the right space and, and, and track everything logically for me a bit better. And this book is from zero to hero. It will teach you everything you need to know about using the uh, Linux command line, the terminal effectively. This is an incredible book and I couldn't recommend it enough. And you can see in my version, I've still even got some tags in here to sort of jump to specific pages that I still even use um, regularly. This book is amazing and teaches you everything from the absolute basics of a terminal, um, how to use it, uh, what certain commands do, how to change your like PS1, your prompt, um, writing bash scripts. This is just a fantastic all-encompassing book to do with everything to do with the terminal and the command line. And I personally use most of the knowledge from this book on a daily basis when I'm using my terminal. As an additional aside, um, this other book isn't covered in the five books uh, for this video. This is just another book that is by that um, No Scratch Press uh, publisher. This is um, How Linux Works by Brian Ward. Um, this is a really great book about understanding uh, the Linux kernel. However, when I started reading this, I had another book that is appearing later on in uh, the, the video um, that sort of did a better, fuller job than this book. So um, this is a nice book for sort of um, scratching the surface, I think, and getting some of a good understanding, but the other book I'll show you later uh, is much deeper and richer. So this next book falls into the specific category, and this book is specific for Android developers, of which I am one. This is called Android Studio 3.5 Development Essentials. It's got the nice big Kotlin K on there, and it is by uh, Neil Smythe. There we go, or Smith. Not sure how you pronounce that. Uh, as you can see, this book is an absolute monster. So hand for reference, it is huge. Um, but wow, it is, again, um, all encompassing. Everything that I could need to know about Android development. So the title is a bit of a misnomer here. It talks about just Android Studio 3.5, which is a specific version of the Android um, uh, integrated development environment. However, 
um, it talks more about actually how to create apps and the code that goes along with it in, of course, the, the Kotlin language, which now is uh, Google's favorable language for Android development. This book is great, uh, and I always found um, Android development to be a little bit challenging, actually, um, because it was constantly changing, adapting, morphing, um, and I always felt, and I still feel like I have to constantly uh, learn to keep up, which is quite normal in the tech world, I'd say. However, I did want a book that sort of took everything that I know, all the snippets all over the place and sort of brought them into one sort of unified framework. And this book does a fantastic job of that. And I did some research before getting this book because there's a couple of others out there that are sort of similar, but this one is, um, as of filming this video, really quite up to date. It talks about Android uh, architecture design patterns like MVVM. It talks about live data, architecture components, uh, animation, of course, the Kotlin programming language, it dives into quite deeply there. It is just a fantastic book for Android developers. The third book, again, falls into the generic category, however, with a little bit of an asterisk, I guess. Um, most people will do any sort of editing, text editing or code editing in like a graphical user interface text editor like Sublime, Atom, um, VS Code. However, if you're a big terminal fan like me, then you want a terminal based text editor of which there are several. I couldn't actually find my copy of the book. I think I've either lent it out to someone or it is in my desk drawers at work. And of course I can't go and retrieve that because lockdown. So I'll put an image on the screen of it instead. It is called Mastering Vim Quickly and it is by Jovika Illich. I think I'm saying that name right. This book is absolutely integral to anybody that uh, wants to use Vim. Again, for me, with my Vim learning, it was just snippets on the internet, videos I was watching. There was nothing that sort of wrapped it all up and there was nothing that sort of um, dug deeper into some of the advanced things. There's a lot of like basic Vim usage stuff out there, but nothing sort of advanced. And this book is amazing. Obviously, it talks about the basics and starts um, introducing you to Vim and the sort of um, the syntax of Vim and gives you some great mental patterns uh, to help you remember what certain keys do, which I still use on a daily basis. However, the best part of this book is that it goes deeper into Vim. It talks about some of the less known features of Vim, like the G global command, for example. And it gives you some fantastic examples of how and where to use certain Vim commands and controls. I can't recommend this book enough to anybody that's interested in Vim at all. It is small as well. It's a shame I haven't got it, but it's, it's, not, it's not massive. It's maybe uh, 100, 200 pages, but is incredibly useful. And the fact that it's sitting at my desk at work um, just shows how often I still go back and refer to the book as well. And um, if I had the book with me, you'd see all the like little paper notes and tabs in it that help me flick back to certain pages because it is incredibly useful for day-to-day -day Vim working. Okay, book number four. Um, again, this falls into the specific category. This is a mammoth, and this is an incredibly well-known book around the sort of cis admin um, groups. Um, this is Unix and Linux System Administration, the fifth edition by a bunch of authors. I'll just hold it in front of you there so you can see them all. I'm not going to say them all. So earlier when I was showing you this book, how Linux works, and I mentioned uh, a different book that was sort of deeper and more um, all encompassing that was this book that I'm talking about now so this book of course is a mammoth as well uh, it's not as big as that Android uh, Kotlin book but this is is still beefy and this has everything you want to know anything about Unix and Linux system administration security kernel setup boot options anything um, this book will have it. It even talks about bash scripting and some of the shell commands, uh, even how to use the terminal at some point as well. It talks about device management, even Python in there at some point. And because this is such a massive topic, Unix and Linux, and there's lots of different distributions, it even has in some parts where it's getting quite specific, like little icons to say which distribution uh, that information is relevant to. So it's really quite easy to read and quite easy to use. And actually, one thing I want to point out is this book, although it has a lot of interesting technical information has a lot of sort of comedy little bits in there as well just to sort of actually entertain you so it's a really really nice enjoyable read and the final book that i want to cover is one that i hold quite dear in my heart um, and this is the one that has nothing to do with development but i think is important for everyone to read um, this book is called the storyteller's spellbook by james whittaker and there's a picture of james on the back 
Fun fact, I've actually met the man himself, James Whitaker, at Liverpool uh, Tester Gathering. He is just an incredible, really nice, friendly, genuine dude. This book, I'm going to boil it down probably awfully, but this book um, teaches you how to become a better presenter of things. How to actually get up and talk to people and influence them and pass on your ideas in a way that doesn't just bore them. And the best part about this book, other than the fact that it isn't massive either, so it's, it's not a hard read, um, is that it has sort of like this um, D and D RPG sort of theme to it? What do I mean? So when he comes up with like theme, uh, like an idea, for example, on how to like um, you know keep an audience's attention, he'll sort of make this like spell, uh, like a like an RPG D and D spell kind of thing with a casting time uh, and all that kind of stuff. So for me, who's a massive nerd and loves D and D, uh, that is an absolute bonus because that sort of like hooked me back in. I was like, oh wow, that's um, that's really cool. It, it sort of uh, not hooked me back in, but sort of. Um, made my perspective and context align with something I already knew quite well. And the first half of the book is him telling stories um, to obviously uh, educate and teach, but then the back of the book is something that can be used as a sort of uh, hand, uh, a handbook, a guide on in everyday life. It's like a toolkit at the back that has, um, for example, all of the spells that he teaches over the book. Um, and other little tidbits and uh, important things to remember from the book that you can use over and over again. So this is an absolutely fantastic, life-changing book, I would say. Um, for me, um, after reading this, my presentations and stuff um, beforehand were just quite, you know, I've got a lot of energy, so my presentations were, I'm, I'm sure, hopefully okay. But afterwards, I really paid attention to how to sort of speak to the audience properly and how to present things so that my messages weren't getting lost. This is incredibly useful for everyone in my personal opinion. And that's it. Links to where you can buy those books for yourselves are in the description down below. And of course, I guess an important message, I'm not sponsored or anything by any of those uh, publishers or bookmakers or anything. I just uh, wanted to share the good word of each of those books because I personally have found each and every one of them incredibly useful and made me a better developer or a better speaker or a better Vim user and so on. So that's it. Thank you as always for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you are interested in seeing more of what I do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course ding that bell to be notified when I release new videos. Let me know in the comments down below if you think there's some books that I've missed that are integral to your developer or technical or speaker life or just books that you love in general. I'd obviously be interested in increasing my collection and reading and learning more. And finally, as usual, if you have any questions or want to reach out to me, feel free to reach me at my Twitter handle at Ben underscore Cadell. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. If you haven't already, consider hitting that scribe, scribe button. Quarantine. <laughs> I do. Don't forget that. That's disgusting.